All right, longest streak in conference basketball history ended tonight. Longest consecutive streak of winning conference championships, I should say. It ended in Norman, and that process of unraveling for Kansas began with Yudoka Azubuki was injured early in January, which ended his season. In early February, Silvio DeSouza was ruled ineligible by the NCAA for this year and next. For Bill Self and the Jayhawks, October must feel like years ago. So much promise has evaporated. After 14 consecutive seasons, someone else will be the Big 12 champs. They were throttled by an Oklahoma team who solidifies any doubt about its resume. And look, it's not like KU's not going to be a tournament team. They're just not going to win the Big 12. Oklahoma came out and it, there was no doubt that it was their night. Mm. Brady Manick look, looks like Bird. Many people have pointed that out. And for a while tonight, was shooting like it. Christian James splashes that one in. Jamal Bienemy. Nice handles. Oh, Ooh. give it up. Manick, normally a three point shooter, but here, I'll take this one to the rim. Oklahoma led by 13 at the half in the second. OU rolling. Good look. Christian Doolittle for the slams. Boomer Sooner up 19. At one point, they had a score in the 70s, and Kansas had a score in the 40s. You don't see that much. Miles Reynolds. Nice touch. Gorgeous. Up to a 21 point lead. Matt Freeman, shooter. Doolittle 24. Manic 21. KU's streak. Has finally come to an end. Bill Self reflects on that. It's pretty cool that, at least from our perspective, that 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 we've hung in there for, you know, pretty substantial amount of time, and and uh, we've taken most people's best shots most every night, and and everything, and we've had teams that were, you know, tough enough to able to combat that, and and talented enough too, because you can't do it without talent, and we we certainly had. Our, our, our fair share of talent and we have talent now it's just young talent uh, uh, but it, it, it's great but but you know I, I don't like the fact that you know this this team will feel they're the ones that let it down and you know and there'll be a lot of players from the last 14 years look look at this team as, as a team that, that that broke what they started or, or whatnot and and I don't think that's fair either. No, it's really not because they've had so many injuries and a lot that, that has gone sideways. The streak ends, parlayed the run into some strong positions in the NCAA tournament during that 14-year run. Never been worse than a four seed. That might be the line they're on this year. I think they're on a three right now. They've been a one more than half the time. Last time they weren't Big 12 champs, it was 2004. Oklahoma State won the title. Cowboys also won the Big 12 tournament and reached the final four. So some further context, speaking of Stillwater in 2004, the Whoa. coach on the gridiron was a dapper, dapper fella by the name of Les Miles. Youngster. Get that clap in the palm of your hands, men and ladies. It was his fourth and final year there. Pat went to Baton Rouge, where he had a great run as the head coach from LSU from 05 to 16, all while Kansas was winning the Big 12 titles. And now just to bring it all full circle, look at him. you got Les heading to Lawrence where they both hope to get back to their winning ways.